Hey, it's Jason Baker here with Rise Real Estate. I hope you're doing good. I'm coming to you from my lazy boy on my front porch. Talk about making your wife angry. Drag your lazy boy outside because you're at home hanging out with family do, during all of this and realizing that real estate is absolutely and always has been, although we didn't know it, a virtual business. Um, so anyway, I just was uh, uh, reaching out to you to see how you were doing. Um, it's uh, it's kind of crazy out there, isn't it? And uh, I just wanted to check on you. Okay. A lot of people have been calling me and saying, Jason, what's going on with the market? And they're in a panic because they're out of work and these kinds of things. And so I wanted to sort of calm everybody down and let them know what was going on in the real estate market for those of you that care. Uh, and uh, so here we go. The it's it's been like we thought, you know, this has never happened. Right. This is the equivalent of, you know, being invaded by, say, China and we're curling up in a ball. Right. So what we need to do mentally and physically is get out there and fight. OK. In a healthy manner. Now, that being said. As far as real estate is concerned, things are different. What I think every single real estate office, a company or franchise in America has realized is that you have to adapt because most of the states that are out there shut the real estate industry down or deemed it essential with limitations. And so that's really changed the way that we've been doing business. And, um, you know, we'll have a little uh, button down below on some of our virtual safety stuff that we're doing. But rest assured, in Montana, the market is different, although it is still very good. Okay, we're going to talk about what I expect to happen and everything else here in just a second. So here's some things that I wrote down that I've noticed uh, over the last month or 45 days or so. OK, inventory is still extremely low. I mean, lower than it's ever been. OK, and we'll go over the numbers in a sec. Our showings are down about 50 percent across our listing inventory. We carry between 30 and 35 listings at a time. Um, so. What that means is a lot of the people who are super scared and kind of hold up, okay, um, is are, are staying home. I mean, that, that's what they're doing. And a lot of those are people who are not highly motivated, okay, and or they cannot come here because they would have to be put on a 14-day quarantine. So we're not seeing that out-of-state traffic uh, that we normally do. Our internet buyer activity is through the roof. I mean, it, it, our internet leads that we're getting in and everything else is just, it's insane right now. Our clicks, our views, everything. People are home on the internet surfing and looking for that next property. So there's a lot of pent up demand. So I believe a few things are going to happen. Number one, we're going to see an uptick in listing inventory. Okay, right now it's extremely low, but that's going to change. And the reason is, well, number one, the normal spring rush. To this day, I'll never understand why people wait until the grass is green to put their house on the market. In Montana, it has nothing to do with green grass or the weather. In the middle of the winter, homes sell. And you know what? The most serious buyers are out looking when, you know, in the wintertime, right? Because no one's going out there in a foot of snow to look at. In the springtime, so less homes are for sale in January through June. Right. And after June, everybody's going to come on the market. Right. So there's still a little time to get on the market and get sold for top dollar. So if there's 600 homes for sale, say in Missoula or 150 like there is right now, when are you going to make more? <laughs> so we're going to see a spring rush. Now, that's the normal spring rush. Number two, what about the people? And this is very unfortunate. And this is what's driving me crazy. Uh, I hate to see businesses and families suffer unnecessarily. It drives me absolutely crazy. So if I'm opinionated on that and I want your family to succeed, or there's someone watching this video that says we should shut down everything for the rest of the world and just curl over and die, I'm sorry. I do not agree with that. Okay. If you feel the need to be safe and, and secure and not go outside, I respect that 100%. However, we've got to get these families back to work they have to provide for their families. That's just how it is, okay? Um, and we're going to, unfortunately, see some businesses go under through all of this. 
Now, I read something in the newspaper that said there's going to be 50,000 jobs lost in just uh, from here to Kalispell, Missoula to Kalispell, so maybe that includes the bitter or two. I don't believe that one bit. Uh, however, I'm not an economist. Uh, I just know that in Montana we're fighters, although it doesn't seem like we are right now. Uh, but the fact of the matter is, is that we've got to get back to work and we've got to make this economy go. And the only way we're going to do that is with each other. OK, so support your local businesses if you can. It's just so important that we get back to work. And and uh, uh, the fact that we're not already is, I think, crazy. Anyway, that being and if we disagree, I love you anyway. OK, um, and I respect your opinion. Please respect mine. Now, number two, and you can always delete the email. Uh, number two. We're. Because of that, so number one, part part two of number one, we're going to see some people have to sell their house because they no longer can afford their mortgage payment. Also, there is this forbearance thing where they're going to give you three or four months off. No, you, you're going to not make three mortgage payments in, uh, in July or, or August when that fourth payment is due. You owe for all four payments. So watch out for those forbearances. Okay, so number two. Uh, I believe that we're going to see more commercial buildings come up for sale and commercial space come up for sale. OK, why? Well, the businesses that are going out uh, under are going to have to sell either through foreclosure or just normally. OK, I hope that doesn't happen. I do not want that to happen. That's why I want everybody to get back to work. Uh, but there's a good chance that we're going to see an uptick uh, in commercial. Additionally, some of the businesses are going to realize that they don't need the overhead of the office. And so they're going to get rid of that. Now, we are looking for commercial buildings. So if you know of any, that would be a great real estate we rent now uh, and we're going to be looking to purchase. Uh, I would appreciate knowing about that. Okay, number three, I believe more people are going to move to Montana to escape the cities after all this is all said and done. Now, they can't really come here in droves right now because they'd have to be self-quarantined. That hasn't happened yet, and that's one of the reasons why the showings are down, like I said before. But I believe that a lot of these telecommuters, people that can work from home on the Internet for big companies um, that have realized that they don't need to have their offices either, uh, will move to Montana because there's very few places with a better view. OK, um, not saying I really want that to happen, but it's probably going to. All right. Now, number four, on our under four hundred thousand dollar stuff, we're seeing multiple offers. So I think we've sold four this week with multiple offers in the last seven days, which is which is great. I mean, our sellers are really enjoying the extra money that they're making. And why? Because they listen to me when I said to put your house on the market before June time. Don't wait till June 1st when you're competing with four times as many homes as we have right now. It just doesn't make any sense. Um, well, I'm waiting for my the kids to get out of school. Okay, great. Well, why don't we set the closing for June or July, right? But sell it now and get it under contract at a very high price. So if you're planning on selling, again, I cannot, the most important thing I care about is your family and your job, okay? If you're retired, obviously I care that you're enjoying yourself and staying healthy. Uh, and it's not a sales video, but if I'm here to give you the statistics, the, statistics, the statistics say whoever sells before June has a greater likelihood of having multiple counter offers because of less competition. And if you want to make more money, then just do it. If you don't, it's OK. You're the boss with that. Now, let's talk about what's going on uh, out there. In Missoula County, we have 248 active homes with a four hundred ninety seven thousand uh, dollar average uh, list price. There's 203 homes under contract. That's in Missoula County. Now, in Missoula, we have 146 homes for sale. That's it. I mean, that's like lowest of the low. And 150, there's more homes under contract than are actually for sale. So they are selling. Now, a lot of the stuff on the outskirts of Missoula is not selling. Uh, some of the stuff over $500,000. So um, we just have to be patient for their like. Okay. Now, in Ravalli County, there's 268 active homes for sale right now. With a 223, uh, 223 average days on market, which is much higher than Missoula, with a $550,000 uh, average sale price. Now, there are 118 only under contract out of the 268. So remember, in, in Missoula County, we were almost equal, or in Missoula, we were almost equal, okay? Um, so 200 268 Active homes, 223 average days on market, 550 list price, 118 are under contract right now. The days on market, though, of the of the under contract ones is only 63 days. So what you're seeing is rampant overpricing, okay, and a lot more higher end homes coming to the market. And when that happens, uh, 
you're going to see those longer days on market. But the ones that are selling are on average are selling uh, or going under contract with a list price of 372. They're going under contract in six, about 60 days or less. So the ones that are sitting there longer than that are probably overpriced, okay? Or in a, in a price range, it doesn't sell as quick. There's a lot of that stuff over 800000 right now. And if, if you're in that uh, price bracket, you're competing with a ton of other homes when, not a, you know, when only a handful of those sell per year in the Valley, okay? So if there's any, again, let's get back to work. Let's support our local businesses and let's have an amazing day. Okay, I know this was probably the most boring video you ever watched, but if you have any questions of what's going on or you need anything, we're working like dogs. Okay, maybe from our front porch like I'm on, or maybe from our lazy boy. Rest assured we're answering the phone. Rest assured we're fielding offers, in many cases multiple offers. Rest assured I have four people that can go out and show you property right now if you want to look at it. And rest assured you will never work with a team that is more attentive to you and communicates better. OK, let me know how I can help. Have an amazing day. God bless you, your family, your business, your life and your health. You take care.